Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered if it's possible to play iconic games like The Last of Us or Uncharted on a Mac with an M-Series processor? It might sound impossible, but I'm here to tell you. It's actually real. Just a couple of months ago, an ARM version of the RPCS3 emulator for macOS was released, opening new possibilities for gamers. However, there are still very few tests of this version in internet, and almost no detailed settings for running such games. Today, we're going to check how the emulator works on a Mac, go through the setup process, and see if it's truly feasible to play these games comfortably. To start, visit the emulator's website and download the required version. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, select Repository, navigate to the root directory, and choose the ARM64 version. In the Releases section, pick the latest version and download it. Once downloaded, unpack the file, open the directory, and drag RPCS3 to the Applications folder. Next, you need to download the PS3 firmware. Go to the PlayStation website and select Reinstall using a computer. Right-click on Download PS3 Update and choose Save Link As. Save the file to a location of your choice. Now, open the installed emulator. Initially, your game's list will be empty. Install the firmware by selecting File, Install Firmware, and choosing the firmware file you downloaded from the PlayStation website. You can close this window once the firmware is installed. The next step is adding games. Where to get them? Emulator developers recommend dumping games from your own disks, but you can also find... The first game we'll test is The Last of Us. To add a downloaded game, click open and select the PS3 underscore game directory. The game will start launching right away, but you should close it immediately because we haven't configured the necessary settings yet. First, download the compatibility database, which will show how well a game runs on the emulator. The status in game indicates that the game launches but may have performance issues or errors that prevent full completion. You can also select a specific game and click check game compatibility, which opens a site where you can find recommended settings, patches, known issues, and configuration tips If the version column shows Update Available, it means the game needs updating. To do this, copy the game disk serial number, go to RPCS3's official Discord, and in the Bot Spam channel, type PSN Check Update and the serial number of your game. This will provide a package to download. Install the package by selecting File, Install Packages, and choosing it. If there are multiple packages, install them in ascending version order. The next step is installing patches. Click Manage Game Patches and update the database. This needs to be done only once. Ensure you're applying patches for the correct game version. Serial number and patch version are displayed at the top. Select the relevant patches and click Save. Now configure the game settings. Choose Create Custom Configuration and set everything exactly as shown in this video. Be attentive, skipping even one option might prevent the game from launching. Click Save Custom Configuration. There is one more setting that needs to be changed outside of the interface. Go to Library, Application Support, RPCs3, Custom Configs, and open the file corresponding to your game serial number. Find the Line Stub PPU Traps, set its value to 1, and save the file. 
For the best experience, it's recommended to use a controller. To configure it, click Pads and select your controller from the list. If you prefer to use a keyboard and mouse, you can enhance the experience with an additional program like RMB. Initially created for Ryujinx, it works with other emulators too. RMB offers fine mouse adjustments, processes both slow and fast movements, and keeps the cursor centered on the screen. If you're interested, I can create a separate guide for this program. Now you can launch the game. Cutscenes play very smoothly. Hey. Scoot. while in-game FPS ranges from 15 to 30, which is acceptable for gameplay. There are occasional FPS drops, but nothing critical. According to the emulator's website, the game is fully playable from start to finish, but requires a powerful processor, like the M1 Pro or higher. That said, I wouldn't recommend playing it this way to avoid spoiling the experience. It's better to wait for a PC version. However, the Uncharted series is definitely worth trying, as it's unlikely to ever be released on PC. I won't go into detail about installing other games, as the process is identical to The Last of Us. Instead, I'll just show the settings required to ensure the games run without issues. One clarification, not all PS3 disc images downloaded from the internet, or even your own dumps, will work with the emulator. While recording this video, I encountered several problems. Some discs wouldn't launch, one had Turkish-sounding audio instead of English, and Uncharted 3 wouldn't load from a licensed disc. It kept spinning the loading ring endlessly. This is a known issue with this game, even on actual PlayStation consoles, and it hasn't been resolved yet. For this reason, I recommend finding games with the specific serial numbers I tested in this video. I also ran into an issue extracting files on macOS using Keika. I don't know exactly what happened, but after switching to Windows and Parallels and extracting with 7-Zip, the game worked. It's possible a file was quarantined. If you're unable to launch a disk, simply find another copy and try again. Set the following settings for Uncharted 1. Enable Debug Console Mode. This is required to adjust certain in-game settings. Modify the value of stub PPU traps to one in the configuration file. Install the following patches. Launch the game. Once the game is running, press L3 Start on your controller or F Enter if you're using a keyboard configured like mine. This will bring up the debug menu. Navigate to Rendering. Mesh Options. Disable Sunlight Shadow Buffer Draw. Afterward, press L3 Start again and L3 Triangle. You'll need to repeat this step every time you launch the game, as it improves stability and performance. The game runs very well, with FPS ranging from 20 to 30 and even reaching 40 to 50 in some scenes. Cutscenes play at a smooth 60 FPS. Hanging on every word. Uncharted 2 
Don't forget to set the value of stub PPU traps to one in the configuration file. The game has some minor artifacts. The emulator's website mentions that they may appear on the screen if the Disable SBU post-processing patch is enabled and the resolution scale is set to 100%. The patch should only be used if you're upscaling. However, I tried increasing the resolution scale or disabling the patch, and in both cases, the game wouldn't launch. Uncharted 3 settings. And the last game I tested was God of War. To avoid configuring each game manually, you can download configuration settings for free from my Patreon page. Copy the contents of the downloaded file into your configuration file and save it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, there will be a lot of useful information here. I didn't fully figure out the controls, so please don't judge me too harshly. <laughs>